two, one, and lift off of the space shuttle Discovery with the Hubble Space. Telescope. Nearly 30 years ago, the Hubble Space Telescope was launched by the Space Shuttle Discovery. It was not the first space telescope, and despite the fact that it looks like a giant love, the Hubble Space Telescope is one of the largest and best known telescopes that has opened up space and astronomy for the public. But like all good things, one day the Hubble story will come to an end forever. Hubble project was founded in the same years when heavy metal music Rubik's Cube and Elon Musk were appeared in the 1970s. Expected launch date of the telescope was set for 1983, but the project was beset by technical delays, budget problems and the 1986 Challenger disaster. So it was finally launched only in 1990. The day after launch, the telescope was deployed in a 612 km orbit and finally got to work. But within weeks of observations, the telescope got some problems. The returned images indicated a serious problem with the optical system. Luckily, Hubble was designed to accommodate regular servicing and equipment upgrades while in orbit. And thanks to the work of thousands of people and five servicing missions, all problems were solved and the telescope began to work. Over 30 years of work, a huge amount of data has been obtained. We learned the exact age of the universe, which is now 13.8 billion years old, and got a photo of the oldest galaxy we have ever seen. This object named GNZ11 and it is located at a distance of 13.4 billion light years from us. We see it as it was only 400 million years after the Big Bang. Now your face doesn't look so old, doesn't it? Thanks to thousands of its images, many people around the world have been inspired by space. The most important image it ever received is the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. This image is a small region of space in the constellation Fornax, which contains an estimate 10,000 galaxies. Oh, oh, excuse me, I must repeat that. Every point in this image is a galaxy, which contains billions and billions of stars and planets. It is crazy even for Elon Musk. Or not. On October 5, 2018, the third of its six gyroscopes failed. Actually, three gyroscopes are normally required for operation, but observations are still possible with two or one. Gyroscopes are very important, because without them, the telescope will look like a man after Oktoberfest and will lose its orientation in space. But even this is not such a big problem. Hubble orbits the Earth in the extremely tenuous upper atmosphere and over time its orbit decays due to drag. So that the telescope doesn't fall to the Earth, it is necessary to correct the orbit. Hubble doesn't have its own engines, so to correct the orbit NASA used space shuttles. Unfortunately, this is no longer possible since the space shuttle fleet has been retired. Luckily, in the last servicing mission by the Space Shuttle, NASA installed soft capture mechanism to enable the orbit by either future crewed or robotic mission. So the Hubble telescope won't fall on your head. Maybe. But it also means that if the Hubble's orbit won't be corrected in the coming years, the telescope will burn out in the atmosphere. This can happen as early as 2028. Then the legendary history of this telescope will end forever, and its place will be replaced completely by a new space telescope named the James Webb Space Telescope. But if Hubble will be saved, then it will work for many more years and make an even greater contribution to the development of science 
and space popularization. Do not go gentle into the good night.